It's Friday, and I've admittedly been hanging around for the latest ARLC update to drop. This is also how I wanted to make my triumphant comeback to YouTube, but as life would have it, that is not the way things are going to be panning out. This is the update I've been waiting for. A lot of you guys have seen this, and let's just take a closer look here. Our next update was pushed back a few days, but you can expect it to come out before this weekend. Have a sneak peek, and then we get this picture that sort of shows us a big glimpse of what's going to be coming. I presume that the corner off to our left is a sheriff's station, and then obviously the road that we see here is a road that dips down into the housing track. Obviously we see the introduction of turn lanes along with the yield, but what people have really been speculating about is take a look at the housing track. What is that over there? Like honestly. And if we take a look at the comments, a lot of people have been saying that maybe it's fences around the houses or that maybe the housing track is going to be fenced off anyway all jokes aside you guys the update that we are getting is this one here erlc update we now have melee weapons burgers fries drinks available at three guys new vehicles and more i don't want to jump into it too preemptively like i tend to do so let's look at the update log real quick new features include the melee weapons introducing melee weapons available at the tool store civilians can now purchase a baseball bat a knife and a hammer for police teams a new police baton is available in your lockers continuing three guys food three guys is now serving burgers fries and drinks fast food workers are now able to grab a tray from the shelves and place food on it to serve their customers finally an introduction to additional features to some of these jobs yes you can click another player while having the tray equipped to give them food once you receive the tray you can click to take each item off and dispose of the tray in the garbage can each item has a chance to boost your health finally oh my goodness developers thank you let's wrap up the update log falcon heritage based off the 4 gt this vehicle is now available on the civilian team and then finally command falcon advantage based off the ford f-150 this vehicle is now available on the fire department team this is unlocked at the rank of captain well i was gonna jump right in boys but i'll tell you what i know for a fact i am gonna want that new vehicle and my end game cash is sort of running low right now so i'm gonna talk off real quick and i'll see you guys back in liberty county with some robux in hand you guys i'm gonna do this the only way it should be done now in erlc i'm gonna spawn a vehicle i'm gonna drive myself to the nearest atm i'm gonna purchase some in-game cash and oh boy my mustang has seen better days hasn't it but it's okay i am gonna be buying a new vehicle here very shortly so i don't really care and here we go take myself to the atm yes please and i want to buy well wait a minute i probably should have looked at how how much a new car is but you know what i am gonna buy Ooh, i think i'm gonna buy 1800 worth of robux to begin just to be sure i hope it's not more than 750 it might be let's see here though i am now gonna back up this server is being shut down please rejoin what no not right now three hours later but as i was about to do the only right way to buy a vehicle in the rlc now is to actually go to the car dealership here we go boys give me the vi IP experience you guys gonna shop around for a new vehicle and you guys already know which one I want yes 620,900 that is a fair price to pay for this amazing looking vehicle I don't know what color I want it just yet I'm gonna buy it in orange but I'm immediately gonna go to the mod shop and well wait a minute oh man this orange color is really amazing isn't it I am so happy with my purchase I really am still want to paint this a different color I think it has grown on me a little bit but i still want to explore some options of course first things first the official zany license plate yes please and now i am going to go with the rim color i think i'm going to do well wait a minute let's pick the car color first that's going to be the important part you know with a vehicle like this i've always said an exotic vehicle needs an exotic color let me know if you agree down in the comments below but i'm a firm believer that vehicles like this these cannot be your standard blues your blacks your whites your reds or anything like that vehicles like this need to be a special color with that in mind let me shop around here a little bit i don't know that orange really kind of did do it for me maybe there's a different shade of orange Ooh, that's a nice color right there though this flint color yeah i like this okay with the dark gray now equipped and this beautiful color on this car gonna drive myself on over to three guys and pick up a burger and see what this is all about yes and then after this we'll head on over to the tool source so let me park my vehicle i hope there's somebody in here there we go there's a tray so okay so here we go i got a tray 
There we go, adding a burger, adding fries, adding a drink there we go okay i got it can i place the tray on the counter no i can't because if you remember the instructions you have to hand it to a different player so what if i go outside liberty county and i find someone to give this food to there's people at the jewelry store can i hurry though can i deliver food hey guys what's going on doordash doordash Delivery. Bro, take your food, man. No, you don't want it? Okay, what about this guy? Asking player, waiting for a response. There we go, and he took the food. There it is, yes. DoorDash delivery. Thanks, bro. Enjoy the food, man. Nice, and he's eating it. He's having it. Awesome. There's a police officer there, bro. Come on, man. Let him eat his dinner, man. Come on. After delivering some food, I am ready to go check out some of the civilian weapons now, and I'm also curious to see, since the server refreshed, oh, it did include the update. Yes, this is the update I was talking about, and I was right. You guys see this? this this is the corner of the sheriff's station. We do have a right hand turn now, and there is a yield on right now as well. Coming down, what is that, Fairfax? I think it is. But what about the housing track? What is this down here? Is there every is there anything new? Okay, so it could have been that we were all sort of just speculating for no reason that something was coming to the housing track, or maybe it just simply wasn't included in this update. I know the update had been pushed back for unknown reasons, so maybe that's just a feature that they're holding on to for the time being. In any case i do want to go back and check out the new street setup because that's what everyone was talking about back over at this corner here so we have the yield on right we obviously have the turn lanes i wonder if there's other additions or not really additions but modifications to the map elsewhere allow me a few minutes while i quickly take a stroll down liberty county At this point, I've driven past all the major streets, or what I feel are all the major streets in Liberty County, and I have not seen additional significant differences to any of the traffic patterns or any of the streets. So if I'm missing something, let me know down in the comments below, but for right now, all I can really see is that corner. It could be that maybe I jumped into the server too early. Does that make sense? No, I don't think that makes sense. An update is an update, and if it's been pushed, it should be complete for all servers. So I don't know. Maybe that's all it is for the time being. I still think that we should explore the possibility that we did not get the complete update just yet. So there could be more coming over the next day, maybe even by the time this weekend ends. But for the time being, I do want to check out the new melee weapons and here we go. I am going to buy, can I buy more than one at a time? I don't know. Yes, I can. I can have both the baseball bat and the knife. All right. And with a knife in hand, I am gonna go commit a crime of the life-threatening kind, if you guys know what I mean. I just gotta find someone to employ my knife on. And I wonder if the other person has to be engaged in combat in order for me to be able to damage them. All right, civilian spawn, don't let me down. There's always somebody here at civilian spawn. Come here, bro. Wrong day. And am I hurting him? I am not hurting him. I think these are just for pretend, right? Yep, nothing's really happening here. But why would they include them in the police officer team as well if you can't really do anything with them? That doesn't make sense to me. Therefore, I'm going to say that the other person has to be engaged in combat as well in order for these weapons to actually have an effect on the other player. Hold on, I'm not convinced I'm getting the real answer here. I'm going to go find someone who is engaged in combat. And no better way to do that than the gun store. Someone is outside. Come here, bro. Yes, I was right. I was right. They do have to be engaged in combat. You guys see that? He was at a full red. I stabbed and slashed him a few times, and now his bar is a little bit lower than what it was when I first came up to him. So the other person most definitely has to be engaged in combat. Now that I know all of that, you guys, I could not be happier to be back, honestly. There's gonna be a few more videos coming over the next couple of days, but for those of you that are not part of the Discord, make sure you go join because that's where I've been sharing everything that's been happening with my system, the 
build, the GPUs that MSI still has, and much, much more. Also remember that there's official Zany merchandise for calendar year 2022, both in the Avatar store and in the Zany's group. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and here's to a great start to 2022. Until next time, long live the Zanies.